Hey everybody, you are at the UJ Marketing Fit event and we are going to push the boundaries and we're going to break the molds. It's all about us as marketers driving change, solving tomorrow's problems today. The moment that you join a company, you no longer represent the voice of the customer. You represent the voice of the stakeholders, your KPIs. You have to be politically correct. There's a lot of politics happening around you. And the fact is, once you've lost your voice, you can no longer be the voice of the customer. It is so, so, so important that we as marketers and as business professionals come together as one ecosystem to start making an impact and taking and acknowledging where our faults are and speaking the truth and be the truth out there for what our brand needs to stand for. And the purpose of this function is we want to break the molds and move forward and break the cliches and show you that marketing can actually be a lot of fun. Um, the way we did things in the past, not the way we're going to do things in the future, not the way we do things now. You guys also know that you have been voted by two independent agencies as the best in Africa, our marketing department. We are the most impactful researchers in Africa. My country needs me. You can't just see the I see people like Jesus can see guy, like, see like I'm blind, I am free between the lines. My heart is my guide, my conscience is my mind. I'm not blinded by your sight, nor deafened by your sound. So I will cry for my beloved country. I'm at the UJ YouTube and Marketing Conference today and I'm loving it. How do we do market research in the 21st century? We breathe and we get back to the basics. It can be overwhelming, but remember, stick to the why am I doing the research? What am I trying to find out? This is one of my favorite quotes. No longer can we sit back and plead ignorance. If we are not as brands and as marketers on the opposite side to the oppressor, we're simply supporting the oppressor. It's been a great day, so many wonderful takeaways, very impactful messages and some pretty amazing speakers. But ma'am, I'm serious. The economy is so down. People don't have money and this is what they're telling us, that their budgets have been cut off. Really? Really? Well, that means you don't know how to sell and probe your clients. It's amazing looking back. I'm looking at this little logo now. It's a toilet sign. <laughs> so, why would anyone make the logo of a company toilet sign? I argue that's a unisex logo. That's not just a man. But it was to create a market form. Well, advertising for the man on the street was our idea and Joe Public. And also, that logo we'd seen more than the Coca Cola logo globally every day. <laughs> was such a perfect marriage to collaborate with the University of Johannesburg, the royal wedding of marketing. Breaking the molds, creative learning and keeping up with change. We've sent them countless emails, they're not responding to our phones. Like, come on man. I don't care if you have to go to their offices, I don't care if you have to drive there, call them 60 times a day. The fact is, you have to call them and make those targets, make it happen. But that technology and data is changing our culture. Um, it's throwing communication and the physical world of processes and goods into complete disorder. Data, as I said, has become a critical corporate asset. And business leaders want to know what is this information worth that I'm holding. But the value of data is tied not in having it. It is by who will use it and what you will be using it for. What the speakers are, are, are sharing today is implementable today when you get back to the office. Okay, one, two, three. Hoo -ya, hoo -ya, hoo -ya, hoo -ya. 
And if you can develop the story around personal brands within an organization, around the organization itself, around the product or service, that's when you start exciting your early adopters. You start exciting those influences within your ecosystem. And developing that excitement is ultimately the thing that leads to, to at least your brand becoming a hero. And that's what we want to create. We want brands to become heroes. tools available are amazing but we don't use them and ultimately it's not about the tools it's about the people using them our own minds we're all whining about how i fall this thing about the robots okay but are we ready to formulate the minds of these new machines because that's actually what the problem is it's us not the machines and are we going to fit in to an enhanced uh, way of working because that's what we've been offered What I love about the merge between Booyah and the University of Johannesburg Department of Marketing Management is that we really stood for the same values. But the true test of the strength of our world is in the day-to-day -day experiences that the customer has with our brand. Do they feel seen and heard because you are delivering on your brand promises meeting their expectations, and adequately addressing their needs. Technology is all about the future. You have your AIs, your XRs, your MR, your VR. Go on. Your VAR. The art and the science of being able to reach consumers comes from the fact that if you're thinking about the decompressed stories that everybody's been exposed to every single day on all platforms, you have to be starting to question how it is that your brand shows up within that reality. The art is about taking into consideration the fact that there's millions and millions of brands that are fight for exactly the same level of attention um, as you're trying to do. And they're all doing it with probably the same, if not more, budget that you have. I'm enjoying the personal stories that are coming out and being mixed in into the real stories and the real challenges that we're all facing and the potential things we need to do to improve where we are. So I'm very excited. An experience in a business to consumer relationship is very much the same as an experience with your partner. If you don't listen to him or her, how would you understand it? Why would you be different towards your customer? Don't alienate yourself by sitting in your own little world and think that you know what the customer wants. It's what Port Milani said earlier on. Data tells you or informs your strategy, but that's all it does. It doesn't visualize and visualize. busy trying to be like really hip and happening that we're so sensitive to everything personally I think we're oversensitive but it's like we have to be so 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 careful not to offend a religion a race a language a gender a, you have to be so so careful so how do you draw that line how can you play and have fun and be entertaining and not get into trouble One of the most important factors for us was diversity inclusion. We take it very seriously and ensure that it reflected in the speakers we handpicked for this experience. Why did WhatsApp work? How easy is it to use WhatsApp? How easy is it to use Netflix, right? How easy is it to use Amazon? I go to Amazon, talk about one-on-one -on -one marketing, right? Amazon says to me, hello, um, welcome back. Last time you were here, you bought this. People who bought this also bought this. Um, for your convenience, here's a blurb on the book. And for your real convenience, I've moved the cursor to the button mark. Bye. So you click on it, and 15 seconds later, the book arrives, and two seconds after that, my cell phone pings, and the pain is gone. There's no advertising involved. There's no marketing involved. 
as a marketing person, the conversations around trust, around authenticity, and around ethical behavior is important. There is no one size fits all perfect future for all of us. And that's why it involves us as individuals, as marketers, and businesses to get involved with putting more options onto the table and to start resisting the trends and trajectories that are leading to future points that we might not actually want to live in. If you want to have foresight for the future, it doesn't do very well to throw the past out entirely. We do need to learn from our mistakes, so hindsight is important to understand the future trajectory that we actually want to live in. Very informational and everyone is just passionate about what they do. What an incredible day. So many, so many disruptive minds all came together speaking the same language and we learned so much today. But one thing that is so important is that we truly became marketing fit because becoming fit is all about fixing the basics and starting from the bottom up. And it was just such an incredible day. I, I need time to go and process what I've learned. I have never experienced an audience so engaged. It was just an experience full of physical, digital, emotional and sensorial activities. And you went on to a journey as to learn how you can make a change as a business professional in the new era that we live in. Be the change you want to see in the world. Solve tomorrow's problems today.